What's going on there, Carrie Fry? Oh, that's a good one, too. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh my God! God. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Wow, that's that it. I want to go over five. That's a five pound smallmouth bass. <laughs> so I am with my man, Gary Fry, on Lake, Lake St. Saint Saint Clair, Clair, Michigan. That's right. And look what we're catching today. Now, Gary, this is just the beginning. What's going to happen? We're going to crush them on a swim bait today. On a swim bait, that's what you're saying? Yep, half ounce head. All right, so we got one over five pounds right now. About 12, what do you say, 12 more to go? Oh, yeah. I'm going to weigh this sucker up yeah. and see what he weighs. Yes, sir. We were going to be blessed with pretty good weather. There's a decent chop out on the lake, uh, many two to three foot waves. But the previous days, it, the lake had been rocking with winds out of the east. So we were coming on after uh, the lake had been a little bit muddied up and tore up. Fishing had been real tough before we showed up today. Uh, just a little guys, not what we're after. To start. Catch him on the swim bait. Uh, How would you get there, Mr. Fry? Uh, I got another one. Swim bait fish again. Mean one. <laughs> so you pop that off the uh, how you working this swim bait? Slow rolling it, popping it off the rocks, and they're eating it. So keeping it on the bottom is important? Yeah, very important. That's why I'm going with the half ounce head. So keep it down, bumping rocks. Catching bait. Catching bait. Uh, I don't think it's 551 like yours was, but he's uh, the right species. We got a swim bait fish. There's the Loch Ness lure. Nessie. Put some chartreuse dye in the white one. And... Someone's got to catch the small ones. Very slow, slow, methodical retreat. Rocks, and they're picking it. He's been doing that with all his four pounders. It's crazy. Yeah. Six Molly? Yep. Another one on the swim bait. You got them coming. You might as well boat flip them. Yeah, no be. time for the net. You're as crazy as <laughs> you suggest. Yeah, <laughs> you fish don't want to let go, does it? No, he had that thing down his throat. Man, I'm in that beauty. Oh. Woo! Good fish. That's why you come to St. Clair. Nah, he's really not that big. Carry catches all the big fish. I'm just happy to just get a bone. Ah. He did, he ate good, he ate right. I mean, that's what you want to see. See how deep he had that in his mouth? That's it. Yeah, you can see, you see, Carrie's catching all of, all the fish on a single swim bait. I can't. A couple small ones, so I just decided to put five together and see if we can't get active there. Well, I have found several times throughout my life, maybe you have or haven't, that when there's a swim bait bite going on, that sometimes the Alabama rig catches more, but the single single swim bait like you got catches yeah. the bigger. Have you ever found that to be the case? 
I used to throw an A-Rig a lot, mm -hmm. but just because of the whole three-hook rule in Indiana, yeah. I don't throw it a whole lot around home. Yeah. I just... Uh, I've caught some big fish on an A-Rig, but no, I, I like the... I think a bigger fish knows the presentation. If they're wrapped up in schooling like crazy, the A-Rig, they kind of lose yourself and they'll bite anything but a single swim bait. No, I really think it is. It's uh, just a long bait off to itself and the bigger ones find it easier just to grab that. There's a wrap of Bass with Buzz, Hunter Fish, Kerry Fry. Appreciate you coming out here, Kerry, at Lake St. Clair, Michigan. Uh, a tough day of fishing. It really was. And yet, 20 pound bag of fish is what our best five would have gone. And I say our best five. <laughs> yeah. He hogged them all. Uh, I thought it was really selfish I and inconsiderate to, of you I not to share, to share many of them, but uh, <laughs> freak flipping these fish in the bait. But all of our fish, all of them, except for one dumb largemouth that was caught on a chatterbait, oh. was caught on swim bait. And so, I mean, I really took it to them with the Alabama rig and one or two or three small ones I got. But, York, what's the deal on how do you set up a swim bait? I was throwing a, a four inch swim bait on a half ounce head with 12 pound line. That thing's pretty bright, huh? Looks like a clown color. Yeah. Half ounce, you said? Half ounce head. What kind of rod reel really are you using? I'm using a, a 7.4, medium heavy fast, St. Croix Legend Tournament. Has a backbone you need, but still has the tip to, to play them out. And oh. Boat, and boat flip the big fish. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> the backbone, holy cow. <laughs> Flipping in things in the boat. I've never seen anybody flip a five and a half pounder in the boat before. That what was truly amazing. And, and is it the real important, gear ratio important? Do you uh, say? I'm, I'm using a seven one to one, but you just got to play around with the speed of the retrieve. Slow it down with a higher gear ratio reel. That's basically what it comes down to. Well, hey, if you haven't hit the subscribe button and click the notifications, do that right now. This is not the last time we'll be on Lake St. Clair this year in 2019. Until the next time, we're on the water. We'll see you there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.